All right, what we're working on today, guys, is a 96 Mercury. We're gonna go through and pull the carburetors off today, and we're gonna clean the carburetor. And I'm gonna show you guys how to pull it off and how to just do a quick clean on it to try to make sure it's gonna run for this year. Um, this is a project motor I picked up. Um, it's a 25 horsepower. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start, and I'm gonna show you guys first thing to do before you guys even pull the carburetor off is go through, take your fuel bowl, and it should, you might need two hands here, just to unscrew it here. I'll set this down, and I'm gonna break it loose, and I'll show you guys. All right, now I got this broke loose. Just, I grabbed the one hand here, grabbed the other hand, unscrewed it. So you wanna check, pull that, check for, as you can see there's dirt, debris in there, and what looks like old fuel. So you're gonna wanna go through, get rid of that, um, if you have old fuel in this thing, dispose of it properly, um, so that way it can be disposed of properly. So you're going to want to make sure that that's clean, and uh, you can check your your filter. Make sure your filter's clean. So this one has some dirt on it. If it's really bad, just replace it. I'm going to go through and clean my filter, clean my thing my bowl with some carb clean so that's gonna be where I'm gonna start then I'll show you guys from there I'm gonna go ahead and clean them two pieces real quick just take some carb clean spray them out get them clean and we'll go on to the next step all right so now the next thing to do is you take your half inch wrench and you take these these two nuts off that are holding the carb on so you go through and you take them off and get them broke loose to get them loose enough you can usually undo them by hand okay set that off to the side so you don't lose it sorry about the video there I'm just single guy doing this so all right now let's see here let's let me look at this here real quick make sure that should stay attached to that because that's not attached to anything so that's attached to there this rod's attached to this which is attached to the choke so I don't think I have to just screw with that So the throttle, as you can see, it rides on that. So this moves here, like this. This is attached to the choke here. So, you might want to pop that rod off like that. And just grabbed it and popped it. So you can take it off of there and you don't lose it. Make sure you don't lose your rod, set it down somewhere safe. Let's see, I set mine somewhere safe right there. Okay, because that would definitely have to come off. Gonna have to... Now, the other thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get your fuel line off. This one has got a hose clamp on it, so I gotta go get someone to cut the hose clamp. And then, once the hose clamp's cut, I can pull the fuel line off, then I can take this nut off here. So let me go get something to cut that hose clamp, and we'll go from there. So I got the nut off, got the fuel line off, and I realize this is still attached to that so I'm gonna go ahead and just take the screws out on that because the uh, choke lever is attached so I'm gonna see if I can take these off here and here and leave it and I'll see what it comes up with. Alright to get that carb off what I had to do was I had to take this clip here out okay this clip this clip goes against this grommet piece when it's pushed up in there. Okay, I took the clip out so I can get just a little bit more clearance, and I just had to keep wiggling the carburetor around that I could get it off. Um, when you are when you get that off, you can just take a look with the light in here, check your reeds out, make sure none of your reeds are chipped or broken or missing, um, just to make sure everything's good up in there. So, now I have the carburetor off. 
Now let me move, I'm gonna move over here to the bench I got and you know, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do a, a spray on it, spray off all the dirt and then I'll disassemble it and show you guys and check it out. So. All right, I've gone through, I've cleaned the outside of the carburetor. But, you know, just did a quick clean on it, sprayed it down, tried to get as much dirt off as I can. So, that way it's cleaner on the outside. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it upside down. I don't want to take, take the nut off. Actually, I might take that one off to see what's up in there. So you can actually take the, you know, the pump off with these four bolts, four screws. And you can get the pump off if you buy a carb kit. And um, you can probably buy a kit to rebuild these, which have all the pumps in it. Um, I did not buy a carb kit for this thing. I'm just going to see if I can get it clean without doing the kit on it. See how clean it is. I don't know the history on this engine. I don't know if it, if it was running or not. Um, so I'm going to pull the bowl off and see how it is. I mean, the fuel, the accelerator pump feels good when I squeeze that. And I hear it pumping. So I think the diaphragm's still good. Worst case scenario is I gotta pull it back off, buy, you know, diaphragm kit for it, buy a rebuild kit for it. So, but I'm gonna uh, go through and just pull that off, see how it looks in there, and then I'll pull this off and I'll show you guys. All right, I pulled that nut off there. Um, I used a, a 7 16 wrench. Pulled it off. When you pull it off, you gotta be careful because there is a little, little spring Spring and a check valve that sit up in there as part of the pump, the solder pump. So I thought that was the case. It actually looks pretty clean, and you can watch when I do. I guess it's not really an accelerator pump. It's more of a. Um, see if I can get this thing here focusing. I guess it's more of a check valve to allow flow for the the primer. But you see how that moves. So it seems to move good. It's fairly clean in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that back together now and then I'll pull the bowl off. All right, so I pulled the nut off. Okay, pulled that nut off. As you can see, it's got a um, jet in there. So you're gonna wanna check that jet, the jet that's right there. You're gonna wanna check that, make sure that's clean and it's got flow through it. And um, make sure your bowl is clean. As you can see, this one is actually pretty well clean. Um, and you want to make sure everything's clean up in there as best you can. Make sure the needle's moving when the float moves. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there we go. Oops. I the float just kind of floats on there. So, well, that's how you can do it. So as you can see, see there, you can see the uh, needle right there. Make sure that's moving freely. Make sure it's not stuck. Because sometimes if you get a carb that's full of varnish or whatever, that needle will get stuck up in there. And then you won't get any fuel in there. So you wanna make sure that's clean and what's what I'll probably do is I'll probably just dump it out like that. Okay, just dumped it out. And now what I can do is I can flip this carburetor around. See if I can get it to focus. There we go. Since I flipped the carburetor around now, what I want to do is I'm going to take my carb clean and I'm going to spray it in there and make sure it's coming out over here where that needle goes. There we go. Make sure it's coming out there. can in there. So as you can see it is coming out. So you can see it bubbling through. So okay, so now you know your fuel inlet where the fuel comes in goes through the carburetor and comes into the bowl there okay and what the needle does is the needle this guy the needle 
it allows fuel in and out of the, not in and out, but into the bowl so it can come out through the jet here and go up into the center of the carburetor. So when you have this apart, you want to make sure your needle's clean, your seat's clean if you're not replacing them. It's always a good idea, you know, if you're rebuilding a carburetor to replace your needle and seat if you're rebuilding a complete kit. Um, right now, all I'm doing is just cleaning it, making sure it's clean. Um, the other thing I'll do is check your, your bowl. Take your, not bowl, I'm sorry, your float. Shake your float. Make sure there's no fuel in it. Make sure it doesn't have a crack and that it, it isn't full of fuel. This one is not. Sometimes they'll get cracks in them, then they'll get full of fuel and your engine won't run right because it'll be allowing too much fuel in there. Um, but as you can see, my bowl's clean. This thing looks like the guy um, probably went through and drained the carburetor when he turned the engine off, uh, pulled the fuel line off, ran until there wasn't any fuel left in it. Um, or the guy just recently had the engine clean, I don't know. So, I don't think it was because of how dirty it was. Um, if you want, you can pull these plates off, check your diaphragms in there. There's going to be a bunch of needles and probably seats in there. I don't think I am because of how clean this carb is. Um, because I don't have a kit for it either. So, but that's how you can get it off and do the basic quick clean on a type deal. Alright, if you guys want to disassemble this, what you do is you take a flat blade screwdriver, such as the one I've been pointing with, like this one, put it in that. Okay, and what I did is I took this guy and I put it in my wrench, like so, and then I just took my screwdriver and unscrewed it until I can get it here. Then you want to go through and check, and look down, down the middle of it, as you can see, it is clean. You can see the light through it and you want to make sure it's clean down inside there so you can just take some of your carb clean spray through it and check and make sure because it should be should have flow through the sides like that and you can check and make sure it's flowing through like that so and you can pick it up, look at it through the light, and you can see if there's dirt or debris in the stuff because you can look through the side holes. And you can look through the top hole, make sure. And you can pick this up and look through the main hole. Make sure it's clean. It should be a nice round circle, as you can see there. If they're not clean, you want to clean them. Get them where they're not blocked, so that way your car will work properly. Right, what I decided to do is I was going to take this apart and I said oh, you have to pull this apart and see what's in here make sure nothing's screwed up. So what I did is I took the screws out you can see there's a diaphragm right there. Mine's still soft. It's not doesn't feel screwed up it's still soft feeling. You got a little plunger with a spring. You got a little check metal check valve for the fuel. So this is I guess is a fuel pump. That's what it is. Let's see if I can carefully pop that off. Just what I did is I put one finger there, one finger there, and I just pulled it a little bit. And it popped off. So if there was dirt and debris, you would actually probably see a bunch of it. If it was varnished really good to be collected up there. Might be collected up in there. Anywhere where fuel will sit, it would be collected up. So, but you want to check and make sure that's all clean. Like I said, this thing was pretty clean to start. So I'm just trying to get off any little dirt I might see on it. So I don't think there's going to be any issues with this thing running as it is. Um, I would recommend if you're doing this to go through, buy a carb kit for it, put new seals, new gaskets in it because it would run better. Um... And so, also watch with your screws. It looks like these are all pretty much the same length screw, but you never know with a carburetor if they would be or if they wouldn't be. So make sure you kind of watch where they come out, the length of them and such. So that way, if they are different lengths, you can um, make sure to get them back in the proper position. So...
That's about it. So that's about what's inside one of these carburetors. It's not too much. So make sure you have a good Phillips screwdriver when doing this. So that way you can take them apart, put them back together without damaging the screws. Um, the other thing to do is make sure when tightening the screws back up like this, you try to tighten them up as even as you can. So that way you try to pull everything back together evenly. So, now I'll be uh, reinstalling this thing on there. And we'll go from there. I'm going to set this camera down so I can tighten up the screws, make sure everything's tight before I put it back in the carb. Or back All on right, the I got the carb wiggled back in there. Now what I realized, what's best to do is to get the bottom stud on there first, okay? Once you get the bottom in there, then you can slowly wiggle the carburetor down. You just got to watch this, this plate here, okay? Then once you wiggle it down there, then you can go through and you could put your two nuts back on there and over there to hold your carb on. Once you, actually it might be better before you do that, thinking about it, is to put this um, this back on, the, the air cleaner piece, I'm gonna put mine back on. I'm gonna hook my fuel line back up, get a zip tie put on there like they had, and I'm gonna put this air cleaner piece back on first. I'm um, gonna do that because right now with the carb loose, I can tilt the carburetor up to get on the nuts easier. So once I get that on there, then I'm going to put the nuts on there and hopefully I can get everything else put back together. Alright, so what I did here was I left this piece here loose, lifted it up enough so that I could put them two, two bolts back in, got them bolts tightened up. Then I got that clip back in there to hold this piece back on. So now I could just go through, I could put the two nuts on there. And then I could put the choke rod that goes from there to there back on there. And then the engine will be done. I'm going to be ready to run her. So, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow, ask questions, comment. Um, anything you guys want to know, please ask away and I'll try to answer it as best I can. Thank you all.